I originally got the Habit G1s because I needed something for running and for the gym. I thought it would also be so much more convenient if they were wireless. Not having to worry about wires getting tangled around dumbbells or accidentally yanking them with my hands. With such a large selection of wireless earbuds out there, it's getting hard to separate the good ones from the bad ones. There's this notion inside my head where I feel like I need to spend X amount of dollars to get something good. That may not be the case with these Habit G1 Bluetooth earbuds. Do they match the price that you pay for? Or are they a dud in an ocean of cheap wireless earbuds? Let's take a look. The Habit G1s are priced at 49 USD. They also have Bluetooth 5.0 capability. They are rated at IPX5 water resistant, essentially protection from water from a nozzle. The case battery has 720 milliamp hours and each earbud has a battery of 60 milliamp hours. The earbuds come in this funky hard shell case design. The case comes with a magnetic locking mechanism. Opening the case automatically turns on the buds and closing it turns the buds off. The case isn't super compact, but it can definitely fit in a large pocket. But the bulge makes it look like you're carrying an oversized bean. In here, these buds don't move at all. Perfect for when you're going for a run or working out. I never have to worry about pushing them back in or from popping out when I'm on the go. The silicone bud is actually quite comfortable compared to the other ones I've tried, especially for working out. Some are too small and allow for a lot of ambient noise to get in, while others are too big and just hurt the ear canal. I understand this point is more subjective because everyone has different ear shapes, but for myself, the fit is nearly perfect. The IPX5 water resistant rating is a must have for any earbuds that I get because one, I sweat a lot and two, I run in the rain. I've ran more than five times with these Habit G1 earbuds and they're still going strong. Button controls are a little tough to push down. I try not to use them because pressing on them pushes the earbud too far down my ear canal. I'd rather use the media functions on my phone. Another con that I've experienced is that I get connectivity issues when they're covered in multiple layers of clothing, but I have no issues when they're in my running pouch or in my pockets. I do also have to mention that wearing these for a long period of time, I'd say maybe six hours or more, it can get quite uncomfortable. I accidentally slept with these earbuds on during a road trip and I woke up with some sore ears. The way that these earbuds are placed inside the case are a little weird and take some time to get used to. Any slight misalignment will prevent the case from closing and stop your earbuds from charging. These earbuds do stick out quite a lot and they do not have a discreet look to them at all. For my needs, these earbuds are something I can pick up, put in my ears and not have to worry about falling out. They have a decent sound quality to them and they block out some ambient noise too. They are my go-to sports and activity earbuds. And maybe they can be yours too. The Habit G1s are a budget alternative to Jabra's Active Line and the Bose Sport earbuds for only a third of the price. I understand that these earbuds have quite a few cons to them, but I think for the price and how good they are for sports and activities, they're a great buy.